What is up, my friends? It is Guitar Angel here, and today we are. Go I'm going to be doing a song. Uh, it's by my dad, actually. Coming home by Steve Arsenal, and um, I know none of you guys are gonna want to learn this song, but <laughs> it's probably not even the right chord because I want to be surprised by my dad if he if you find this video. Hi, dad. Um, so. Anyways, I'm super excited to do this. I've been waiting to do this for the long for a long time. I don't know what that sound is. That's just the fan. No, well, that's the light with the fan. Never mind. Okay, here we go. So this song is called Coming Home by Steve Arsenal and also, I wanted to show you guys this majestical bracelet that I got. I really like it. It's pretty fashionable. It's not really mine. It's my mom's. But, hey, it'll have to do. So, um, anyways, let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, I am back. So, first off, like some of the other songs I've done, we're going to start off in a G. So, first finger on the, um, what do you call it? Fifth string on the second fret after the capo. Wait! Before I do that, forget you saw all of that. You have to have a capo if you're, if you're, like, singing higher like me. Personally, I like to have it on the fourth fret. And, uh, yeah, but it doesn't really matter how you guys like to sing. Just find the right key. But anyways, let's get back to this. As you know, first finger on the second fret after the capo on the um, fifth string. So we'd start like that. And then you wanna put your middle finger right above that on the fret, on the third fret after the capo on the sixth string. So it would kinda look like that. And then you want your mm, fourth finger <laughs> on the Okay, my cat is ruining my lighting here, guys, but you're going to have to deal with it. So, um, anyways, my fourth finger is going to go on the second string on the third fret after the capo also. And then my pinky right below that on the exact same fret. And for that one, you strum all six. But I'm pretty sure you guys all know that one. So, and then we're going to have to do this one. I don't remember what it's called, but um, you just have your first finger on the on the third string on the second fret after the capo and then your middle finger two strings below that same fret my cat's looking at the camera Benny say hi to the people he said hi um so and then after that I'm gonna have to have my uh what's it called fourth finger on the second string for that one you strum four strings and then for the next one, you'd want to do like this. This is pretty simple. I'm going to over-exaggerate it. I have it here. But anyways, um, you put your middle finger on the fifth string, second fret after the capo. And then your fourth finger right below it on the exact same fret. For that one, you strum six. And then you want to do, um, you would have your... Um, I can't speak today, guys. It's very, very difficult. <laughs> but anyways, you want to have your first finger on the second string on the first fret after the capo, and then you'd want to have your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret after the capo, and then your fourth finger right above that except on the third fret after the capo and then you'd want to do for that you want to strum five strings so that is basically it for the chords so G I'm gonna call this one the bug lug chord it goes like and then you have this weird thing and then you have the other weird thing which you do the like no, I don't think I'm doing this right there we go there we go make sure you bring out all the strings 
And before you continue into this part of the video, you want to have you know, you want to have to be able to switch like good between these four chords. I did them all in order, so you want to be be able to switch between them. Like if I did this, and then I want to do this. Like you want to be able to do this. Like that, like that quick. Sorry guys, my hair is very bad right now. It's like tiny little pieces of spaghetti flying all over the place. And it's super windy outside right now. And if you're going to be like, actually, if you're going to be like, oh, Haley, the curtain behind you is moving. Oh my God. It's the wind and it's the fan right beside me. So, um, because it's hot out, but it's also raining and windy which doesn't make sense, but I have fans in my house on all the time, even when it's cold, I'm a strange person. So, let's get into the strumming pattern. Sorry this video is so long, guys. Um, but anyways, you want to go like... So, down, down, up, up, down. The rain up in life is feeling when I'm rolling down the road. We need something, how I'm leaving brings you back where you belong. repeat that strumming pattern throughout the whole entire song it works throughout the whole entire song and um yeah that's really all i have to say for this except for have a nice look at my guitar guys it's pretty majestical i'm gonna put it on the ground now so all i have to say is that you guys have an awesome day like thumbs up, give this video an ultra big thumbs up, and then maybe do a subscribe to me if you can. That didn't make sense, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Hit the red subscribe button if you like the content of my videos. If you don't, don't click that red subscribe button, or don't click the like button. Click the dislike button, but that would really hurt my feelings. So, Actually, it wouldn't really hurt my feelings. I'm just over-exaggerating once again. But anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, give it a big thumbs up or a dislike, which I would not like. And then a subscribe in the big red square subscribe button that kind of looks like this. Except it doesn't have my nose in the middle. It says subscribe and it's red behind it in white writing. Okay, and it's right below the video. And... I just hope you guys, again, have a wonderful day, and, um, have a great life. Bye-bye.